So today I'm talking about a P0732 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0732 code? Well, it's a geared to incorrect ratio. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's an input speed sensor that's monitoring the rotational speed of the transmission as it spins. And there's an output speed sensor that's monitoring the output shaft as it spins. But when you get a P0732 code, the computer's seeing that the rotational speed is not correct. The computer can take the input rotational speed and calculate what the output rotational speed should be when it's in second gear. And if for some reason this is not matching, there's some kind of issue going on here. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted to know why. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0732 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is low transmission fluid. If the transmission fluid's low, then it's gonna cause issues. So first thing to do, if possible, is go check your transmission fluid. Some newer vehicles no longer allow you to check the transmission fluid. There won't be no dipstick. But if you can, the first thing to do is go check your transmission fluid and be sure it's at the correct level. The next thing that could cause this is dirty fluid. If the fluid's really super dirty and is clogging up the filter that's located inside of the transmission, then that can cause issues. So if you can check the fluid, be sure to check to see if it's really dirty or anything like this, because dirty fluid or a clogged up filter, that's gonna cause issues. The next thing that could cause this is one of those speed sensors has gone bad and they're just reporting bad information back to the computer. So the computer thinks there's a problem when there isn't. So you can't go test those speed sensors to be sure that they're good. Usually when you have a bad speed sensor, you're gonna get another code. Well, so for example, you might get like a P0722 code, output speed sensor circuit or something like that. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that because the next thing that could cause this is a bad speed sensor. The next thing that could cause this is some kind of internal transmission failure like a bad pump, a bad planetary gear, or the shift solenoid four second gear has gone bad, which is usually called shift solenoid B. If that solenoid goes bad, then the transmission might not be able to shift into second gear correctly and things like this. So the next thing on the list is gonna be some kind of transmission failure. And the last thing on the list is gonna be that there's some kind of wiring issue or the computer's having some kind of issue or something like that. And this isn't too common, but it does happen sometimes. So if you can, go check out the wires running around down to the transmission and up to like the transmission control module or the powertrain control module. And just check to see if those wires all look like they're good or anything like that, and that everything looks like it's plugged in. Because if there's any kind of open or short or anything like this, and the wire is going back to the computer, to the transmission, and that's gonna cause problems. The computer might also be having some kind of issues, although that's fairly rare, but it does happen sometimes. If you do think you have some kind of computer issue, be sure your battery's good. Be sure the alternator's charging correctly. Because all these computers, they all need a good stable power supply or that can cause problems. They also need a good ground going to them. So if you do think you have a bad computer, be sure it's got a good stable power supply because the last thing on the list is gonna be there's some kind of wiring issue or there's some kind of issue going on with the computer. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0732 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.